Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Honest Try TV. And today I'm going to make fried chicken with spinach and sweet potatoes. Um, I am now doing a challenge where I'm trying to feed my family. That's me, Jason, me, Jason, or me, Jason, and the baby for $100 a week or less. Um, so I went to Aldi's, I spent $47, and some of these staple items I had pre-Aldi, so this is Aldi, 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 this is Amazon actually, and I already had the, the flour, and I'm actually probably not going to use this, I think I'm just going to bread with the breadcrumbs, yeah, I think I'm just going to do it like that. So anywho, um, went to Aldi, spent $47 on the majority of what you see here, and I'm going to see if I can get through the entire week with just these items. Um, so this is a departure from our, our um, heat and eat meals and our meal delivery services to try something new. I'm going to challenge myself to see if I can do it the old-fashioned way, which is coming up with a menu, shopping from a list in a grocery store, and... Um, than preparing the meals myself. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so this was um, two packs of drumsticks. And Jason doesn't like... Um, he doesn't prefer drumsticks because usually when they're this big, like you season the outside or you marinate the outside even if you do it overnight, the meat inside has no flavor, so I used an injectable um, seasoning that I got on Amazon. It's like two or three dollars on Amazon. And I injected this uh, yesterday. And so I let it sit overnight in the remaining juice, and so now I think we're ready to fry it. And the injectable was garlic and herb, and the breadcrumbs that I'm using are garlic and herb. So I'm hoping we're good to go. So I'm going to, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. I don't know what I'm doing. I am not a cook. I am not a chef. I have relied heavily on meal delivery services throughout my life because um, growing up, no one ever taught me how to cook. And that is not a dig on my mother. I love and adore her. She and I have a very close relationship. Um, I call her like multiple times a day. <laughs> I love my mother. Um, but growing up, her priority was school for me. So I studied and didn't really have to worry about doing household chores as a consequence. I'm doing this the way my mom does it, which is in a Ziploc bag, um, kind of shake and bake style. So um, so yeah, I, I didn't, I don't know how to cook. Um, that said, I've learned most of what I know from meal delivery services, um, and their, their recipe cards. So, yeah, but I did pick up some things from my mom. You know, I watched her through the years and from my grandmother. So, yeah, I'm going to do my best. Now that I'm out here on my own and I don't have the benefit of a recipe card and pre-curated ingredients. So there we go. And now I have my pan over here. And I'm just going to drop them in here. I am using olive oil. My mom usually uses, I don't know, vegetable oil, I think. Um with maybe some bacon grease thrown in there. I don't know. I'm just gonna drop something in there so I can see. Okay, it's sizzling, so that means that it's hot and we're ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start throwing my chicken in here. All right, so I've got all but two pieces of chicken in the pan. So I'm gonna let that go. I don't know how long. I looked up a recipe and it said about 10 to 13 minutes. So I'm going to let it go for, let's say, six minutes, and then I'll flip it. So I shall be back in six minutes. All right, so we're back. 
Next, I'm gonna work on our sweet potatoes. So first you want to rinse these off. So let me go take these to my sink. Okay, and next we're gonna throw these into a plastic bag, like so, and we're just gonna roll them up. I'm thinking I'll probably make sweet potato mash. Jason's is not a fan of sweet potatoes either, but hopefully he'll like this okay. So just like so, you know, you don't need to tie it or anything. And then I'm gonna toss it in the microwave and we're gonna set it to six minutes. The spinach I'm gonna leave for last because I'm just gonna saute it, add some tsuyu, um, which is a Japanese soup base for flavor, and then that'll be it. So this should take like, I don't know, two or three minutes to make. And I don't wanna prepare it too early. Actually, I'm lying. I'm gonna go ahead and make it porque. This is probably gonna be for lunch tomorrow. I'm actually going to make something completely different for our dinner tonight. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't all have to be ready at the same time. Um, so let me go ahead and get a pan and get this on. And here we go. So I have a pot here. I'm gonna set this to medium heat. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil to the bottom here. Maybe, yeah, two days. And I'm just gonna dump this in here. It'll, it'll heat up eventually, it'll be fine. And yeah, I'm just gonna let that heat up and we'll be back to uh, stir it and such in a second. In the meantime, my alarm's going off because it's been five minutes. We got some blood escaping from my chicken there. That looks not so appetizing. So I'm going to turn my chickens over. Try to very gently flip them without disturbing the breading. Probably should have floured this first. Maybe if I floured it, the panko would have stuck better. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> so yeah, that's how we're looking. I guess it looks okay. But yeah, I'm gonna set my alarm for another six minutes. And then we'll cut into one of them and we'll see how we're looking. So let's go ahead and stir this. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a couple more minutes, let it cook down. We'll season it and put it in some Tupperware. Our spinach is done. We're gonna take it out. So, I'm gonna just, and that was about maybe a third of this bag. So this is an eight ounce bag. Um, I guess that might have been around three ounces, two to three ounces of spinach. We're gonna season it with tsuyu. You can get this um, on Amazon. And I'm gonna probably just put one teaspoon. <laughs> it's all you need, because it is soup concentrate, guys, so you don't need to go crazy. A lot of flavor packed into this. So you just kind of drizzle it on like so and stir it up and that's it. That's plenty, promise. That's plenty. <laughs> Suyu is pretty salty already so I won't need to add any more salt to that. I'm just gonna grab a fork, stir it up. I'm trying to keep it concentrated on this side because I'm gonna stuff my, my sweet potato mash on the other side. Sweet potatoes have, no, oh, our sweet potatoes are done. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those out now, and we can work on making our sweet potato mash. I'm going to grab this by the handles because it's very hot. It has been microwaved for the last six minutes, so the potatoes are very hot. So, you know, just kind of loosely grab it from here so you don't burn yourself. I'm going to let that kind of rest and cool. I'm going to grab a bowl and we'll make our, our mash. So your skin, you're going to remove the skin from your sweet potatoes and with them 
already being fully cooked, the skin should come off pretty easily. Um, just using a fork and a knife because the potatoes are so hot I can't touch them. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you could just do this with your hands. All right, there you go. So, for this, um, I think I'm just gonna do butter and cinnamon. And we're just gonna keep it really simple, straightforward, and easy. So let me grab, actually, you can just use a fork. Um, I do have a masher, but I mean, it's so soft anyway. There's no point in dirtying another kitchen utensil. Right, so here's my cinnamon. And honestly, you just, you just need to do this to your own personal preferences and taste. It just depends on what you like. Here's my butter. Again, not planning on adding that much, just like, I don't know, that much, however much that is. It's pretty thin, thin sliver there. And I'm just gonna blend it in, melt it down, blend it in. And this is basically done. So I'm gonna wrap this in foil so that it doesn't absorb the uh, salty flavor of the suyu. And then I'm going to throw it in this Tupperware container with the spinach. So I'm just gonna leave this here for now and let's go get our chicken out of the frying pan. Be right back. Okay, so that's how we're looking. Again, I think they might have breaded better with some flour. I have two more pieces left. I'm gonna add a, some flour to this, stir it up, and then throw it in the grease. Okay, there we go. So I just transferred all of my sweet potato mash into the Tupperware container. And I'm just keeping it separate and apart from the, I almost call it, called it collard greens, the spinach, so that the saltiness of the suyu doesn't get into and combine with um, the sweetness of our mashed potatoes. And yeah, I'm just gonna taste test so these are okay. I mean, they're not blowing my mind, but I'm holding back from making them sweeter. <laughs> I want to make this, a, you know, as healthy as I can. I already put butter. I think that's enough. Um, this is really good. I always, this is my go-to prep for spinach anyway. Um, the sweet potato mash is meh. Um, again, sweet potatoes are kind of an easy blank slate for you to do whatever you want with them. I give mine like a six. Like I'll eat them, but I'm not excited about them. This is like a nine. That's like pretty much the only way that I like to eat spinach. And now let's test out these golden, slightly dark brown. <laughs> Cause they've been in it for quite a while. I was worried about them being undercooked. So I think I might've erred on the side of burning them. I didn't quite burn them, but we definitely got to dark brown. Um, and like I said, I have two other pieces over there that I did flour before I tossed into the grease, so those are cooking. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and taste test this to see if the injectable helped at all um, to improve the flavor so that it's seasoned throughout and not just on the skin. So give me just a second, let me grab a fork and knife and let's taste test. Okay guys, so I just tried one of the chicken drumsticks and I don't like it. It is flavored throughout, but I don't like the flavor of the injectable that I use, the garlic and herb, I'm just not feeling it. And I've used this injectable before. Um, I, we usually use it for Thanksgiving on turkey though. I, this is my first time attempting to use it on chicken. I'm not a fan. I am not a fan, I'm not crazy about the flavor. So it is cooked throughout, the texture is good. But the taste of the chicken is throwing me off. 